What's up guys, today uh, I got my cousin's beach buggy and uh, he bought a new distributor because the thing uh, wasn't running and starting nice and the uh, vacuum advance on the distributor was also uh, done so uh, there's the new distributor just installed it uh, yesterday and now I'm just gonna adjust the timing I don't have the video of the installing the distributor okay so before we take the distributor out I'm just gonna take the distributor cap off here and then um, I'm gonna turn the engine to top dead cylinder one and then I'm gonna take the distributor out because uh, I want to replace the seal at the at the bottom there okay so you can just do flat screws holding this one in Okay, so now we turn it to where it was sitting, it was about there, and then we just turn the crankshaft till uh, it's fire cylinder one. We lined up. You can see the, just check if I can show you. the notch in the pulley there, and then that uh, mark I made there, the white one, that's the timing mark. Okay, so an easy mistake um, that can be made is, you can check it's on the marks there, uh, and the notch is there by the zero, so that should mean uh, top dead cylinder 1 and also cylinder 4 so uh, if you check the distributor now that rotor is facing uh, that way and if you check the cap the cap on you can check that that wire is for uh, cylinder 4 so that means it's gonna fire on cylinder 4 now and so what we want to do is we want to turn it uh, another <coughs> another rotation to get it to a fire cylinder one okay okay there you go now we can see that the uh, rotate is facing that way and we can check that that one uh, is cylinder one Okay, so now we can just uh, remove the distributor here. Oh, don't forget to take off the vacuum. Okay, so the distributor's wiring is simple. Uh, distributor uh, red wire goes to positive coil and blue wire go to, goes to negative coil. And that's the seal. I just want to get another seal there. The distributor to the side. Okay, the old seal is a bit, a bit thin and a bit small for that. So I just want to get a bit bigger and thicker one. Uh, Maybe a bit bigger than this one. So maybe this one. Okay. So it's still a bit small. But this one. This one will do the job.
That one's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this one onto the distributor like this. And just give it a bit of rubber grease. Okay, then I'm gonna put it back and just point uh, point my right at the wall cylinder one. You can see a mark for number one somewhere here. Okay, so you can see that the uh, distributor is in, but the uh, router is pointing again towards like four, four-ish. Uh, so just pull it out a bit, turn the router towards one, and then put it back in. You can see it's, uh, when you put it in, it's moving a bit anti-clockwise. Uh, that's just how the gears work inside. I'll, it's running on that uh, shaft. And... Um, so you check where's one and keep moving it till you get one and that's about one day uh, with the distributor over the hole there and that hole the bolt that used to be in there it broke off when I installed this distributor so we had to throw and tap that hole again <coughs> and yeah so that's how you put it on the mark just check with your cap if you want to but i know that's cylinder one just put that bolt back tighten the cap okay and you have your adjustment here so all the wires still fine, good, good. Uh, let's start to start her up. Okay, then we also have a bolt underneath there we can use for adjustment. Loosen that one slightly so I can turn the distributor. Okay, 
when in doubt, check the spec. Okay, so I think that's about right. A 14 with a whopping 48 kilowatts, mate. So then we have ignition timing uh, 650, 7 degrees without vacuum and basic timing. Okay, so that mark I made on the crankshaft a while back, that's, uh, that should be uh, 7 degrees of... Okay, so I'll just tighten back, tighten that screw back up, and it's on the mark now, so that little bit of a uh, start date still has, uh, that can also be the CO's carburetor that's not really tuned properly. Also that uh, taco is faulty, so can't see the revs. Okay, we'll tie this wires here together. Maybe shorten this vacuum pipe a bit. So I'm just gonna replace this breather pipe with this one. Okay, so that looks a bit better now. Uh, maybe at a later stage I'll paint the tablet cover. Damn. Rusty goodness, mate. So maybe... Uh, We'll have to do a flush on this one uh, sometime. Um, let's just check the water level. Level. Yeah, there's some water still in there. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna do that now. Uh, gonna take the this bottom hose off to drain the radiator. Okay, so got myself a bucket for the water. Just take this pipe off. Best way is to turn it to break that seal. Bob's uh, uh, your uncle. Okay, so I'm not going to do a heavy flush, I'm just going to pour some water through the radiator. You can see there's some um, nasty build up inside there. Yeah, it's starting to look a little bit better now. The water coming out is not, uh, it's not as rusty anymore. Uh, that's looking a lot better. I uh, don't know if I should paint it or leave it like this. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna replace this clamp as well. You can see it's also very rusted. I'm gonna be using one of these. We can go ahead and uh, put in some antifreeze. Okay, so it's gonna be rusty again, uh, but hopefully it will be uh, enough to protect it for a little while longer. Just gonna fill up with water the last way, last bit. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna remove this hose here. Okay, so I just used two cable ties to secure this thing into place. So uh, one there. And that looks a lot better than the white, if you ask me.